What is going on YouTube? I'm a Viking here with another video update for you today and it's a little off but still on topic and it's a cool little discovery that I made with a Tesla coil that I just recently bought. Want to really show it to you so here we go. So before I get to the good part I'm showing you what plasma gas does as far as reacting with the high frequency alternating current. Um, I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check out my Etsy shop. You can order one of these coils as well, and I believe they are great for anyone that is trying to learn about electronics, high frequency, high EMF alternating current. These coils will not electrocute you unless you obviously cut into the power cord like any other kind of electronic it will electric you. Um, but besides that if you don't cut into an electric cord to a 120 volt 60 hertz alternating current wire you're fine <laughs> okay so keep the switch turned off or just google a couple things to make sure you know exactly what you're doing these these tesla coils really aren't scary okay they're they're like they're very informative and i believe that the upcoming generations should be learning more about because where else are we going to be going from this point? I mean, we can only advance and expand. We can't just stay in the same exact infinite eight pattern forever, can we? We got to we got to expand eventually. So this is the only way I know how. So here we go. I'm going to show you how this works and I really hope this uh, helps motivate you guys to start building your own coils yourselves and trying out different frequencies on these coils because the uh, the frequency potential uh, it depends on the reactance of the coil obviously but the frequency potential and the structuring of the coil has all kinds of different possibilities with the magnetic waves and the sound patterns that are generated in the coils. Uh, the more people that I have <clears throat> working on this technology that I'm working on, the faster we make discoveries as a whole. And that in return creates a unified and amplified potential for all of us to connect and expand. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the video. Sorry this took so long. All right, so for this experiment, I'm gonna shut off the light. <clears throat> okay. And now, we have a plasma ball. If you put the plasma ball close, you'll notice that there is a very crazy effect with this frequency and the plasma. Okay. Now, I've never seen this effect before, but it's very new to me. And yeah, it's very new to me. So this is just a plasma ball. It has three gases of creation in it, okay? And I have really never seen it react like that, so I'm wondering, oh, it's tuned. I think it is. What a crazy effect. <laughs> okay. Now when I shut this off, and now I will I'll show you what this looks like when this is plugged in as well. All right, so at the right frequency, this is what the gas actually resonates at. This is 20 kilohertz. Okay, now we're gonna turn this on. 
Whoa. Whoa. I have never seen it do that before. Here, let me get a close shot closer uh, shot of this all right so I'm keeping my hand tuned with the trying to keep it tuned with the ball and by doing that I'm hoping it keeps me tuned with the frequency but I'm not gonna keep my hopes up on that one we're going to move this ball Very different. All right, and that is all I have for now, YouTube. I hope you are enjoying what I am doing so far. All of this work I am taking from the discoveries of Nikola Tesla, Eric Dollard, Marco Rodin, and uh, a little bit of John Hutchison as well. But James Maxwell is also another person I am recently started doing research on, which... Probably should have been the first thing I did before I researched Tesla, but um, it breaks down the elements before it goes into a simplified Ohm's Law. So I hope all you guys and ladies are enjoying my channel, and I hope all of you are showing this to your friends and your family that have not been taught this information, because this information will change the paradigm if you put in a little bit of time. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, I'm inclined. Ah. Peace out, YouTube.